I'm sorry, Mrs. Smith, but you can only have an IEP team meeting once a year. And also, you can only evaluate your child once every three years. Yeah, that's about as true as that I'm Mrs. Smith. I'm not, and neither of either of those facts. Here's the thing. There are many legal myths out there. They're based on some piece of the law that's kind of accurate, but then it gets distorted. So yes, the law says that you are required to hold an IEP meeting at least once a year. Yes, the law says that you are required to evaluate a child in all areas of suspected disability at least every three years. But the law also says that IEP meetings and evaluations can occur more, more frequently than that if necessary. And so by telling parents things that are half-truths, you're per perpetuating these myths and more importantly, dramatic undermining the relationship you're gonna have with that family when they find out it's not true. And you know, it, this is such a simple thing to um, solve in that to constantly keep your staff um, educated about what the laws are. And I find that it really is half the time of no fault of the staff. It's mm -hmm. just they, you, they've they heard it for so long and it's been practiced for so it's long, so they, they think it's true. It's mm -hmm. not like they're going out to you know, um, on purpose, lying to mm -hmm. a parent. But nonetheless, even if it's not on purpose, it can be very damaging to, you know, perhaps getting in the way of a child receiving an appropriate public education. Right, and so on, you've got the communication issue, you've got the fact that the parents are gonna feel misled and were misled, and as I, I say, along your point, Julie, sometimes parents are told things that are not accurate or not true, and it's not that the person who told them that was lying, it's that they were mistaken. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, you as the school district owns that liability for having misled the parent. And believe me, all sorts of legal consequences from fl can flow from that mistake. So make sure your staff is educated and don't perpetuate legal myths.